Different Channel. Today what I'm going to be talking about is shoulders. And believe it or not, the shoulders, even though they can grow to a very large proportions, are very small muscles. You're looking at about three different segments to develop that round, bolder shoulder type look. And if you're constantly using heavy, heavy, heavy weight, then your shoulders, you're going to either pull something or your shoulders are not going to grow. So even with this muscle right here, the best way to develop it is to use moderate weights. Start low, work your way up as far as weight is concerned, and then you'll get the better performance out of it. But it's not really just the weight that normally cause people not to be able to develop their shoulders the proper way. It's uh, lack of understanding of the shoulders. You know, you have the, the front part of the shoulder, which get worked a lot from all your pressing movements, like bench presses, uh, overhead presses, uh, things of that nature. You know, your front of your shoulders are going to get worked. Uh, a lot of people can remember to do uh, side laterals with the dumbbells, pulling the weights up to your side and stuff like that. They can remember all that stuff. But I think the most important part of the shoulder, mostly everybody forgets about it. And that's the real part of the shoulder. Even though that muscle, when you're doing uh, bent over rows, you can get uh, stimulation through that way. But the best way to work that real part of the shoulder is to attack that part by itself. You know, uh, even if you do um, bent over laterals, where you're bent over and, you, and you're pulling the dumbbells up, or you're using the bar and you're doing the same thing. The most important point is, don't forget the real part of your shoulder. Because the front part of your shoulder can get so strong, it will actually start pulling your shoulders out of socket. And that's when you will start developing uh, shoulder pain and, and ailments of that nature. So, it's always important to develop that real part of the deltoid to hold the shoulders into socket, to hold it into place, where one muscle is not dominant enough to where it's pulling so hard until it's pulling the uh, shoulder out of alignment. That's the purpose of making sure you work all aspects of the body because you want your body to be balanced. And not only by your body being balanced, it also keeps your joints in place. And it will cut back on a lot of the uh, aches and pains that you'll get later on. And take it from me. That's one of the reasons why, you know, my shoulders and stuff like that hurt. Because a lot of times when I first started lifting weights, I didn't work the real part of the deltoids. Because I, I really didn't know about it. And it took me years on down the line before I realized uh, what I had done, you know. It's, it's a lot of things uh, guys my age uh, actually had to come up on later in life. So my thing is I'm trying to tell you about ahead of time. You always want to develop opposite muscles of each other to keep everything balanced. It's, it's, it's the way the body is designed to be. The body is designed to be balanced. And when you unbalance the body, you're going to have issues later on. You know, which is one reason that helps uh, my shoulder to hurt now because of that. It spent, I, it spent so many years being pulled out of alignment until it's pretty much bad all the time now. So it is what it is. But, you, you know, in life you pay for things you don't know. So hopefully you won't do that. Hopefully you'll start working opposing muscles like you're supposed to. Uh, if you're working biceps, you know, work the triceps. If you're working the upper body, work the lower body. You know, do not leave any body part out if you're trying to uh, develop a overall package of a body so that your body will function like it should. Now, another thing I want to talk about, and that is cardio. Now, a lot of us get into the habit of just lifting weights and kind of omitting cardio because we want to uh, try to hold on to as much size as we can. But from my previous videos, you know, you know that my beliefs are you can't get ripped over 200 pounds anyway. 
So why waste the time on just trying to gain um, unnecessary excessive size when you can have a totally tight and conditioned body? And the best way to do that is you got to include cardio. Cardio to develop their heart. Now, a lot of people for some reason believe that, you know, by me lifting weights, by me doing squats, you know, I still can get out there and run or whatever. It don't transfer over like that. It don't transfer over like that at all. It's a total different set of uh, muscles being worked. And at the same time, the uh, lungs become the determining factor. And your lungs don't expand as much as they do when you run when it comes down to lifting weights. That's going to be the determining factor. How much your lungs expand in order for you to hold as much wind as you can to be able to carry your body and oxygenate your body and your muscles for long periods of time. And you can't do that just lifting weights at all. So you're going to have to actually run to develop those lungs the way they should be in order for you to be a, an effective runner. You know, some of you might say, well, what I want to run for. I mean, you want total conditioned body. That's what you want to run for. You know, I uh, back in the days, I ran about five miles every day. And over the time, because of lack of time, I've gradually gotten away from running because of time. And as of today, I'm going to start incorporating more cardio into my training regimen because not only do I want the muscles to be in shape, I also want my heart and lungs to be as in great of condition as I can get them in. So that's my goal. Add more cardio, more cardio. And remember, the real part of the deltoids is the most important part of the deltoids because everything else you're going to be able to do. But if you start your workouts with the real deltoids and work your way around to the side deltoids and then to the front, there's no way you can't develop uh, nice round shoulders and keeping those joints in place. So anyway, that's what I want to talk to y'all about. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And again, I'll be talking to you later.